I'm Ben Pearson, former police interceptor, and today we are reacting to videos of myself and police interceptors. The Ben Telemist is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. This, 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 this car, this vehicle, is sponsored by Surfshark. <laughs> Surfshark VPN. What's a VPN? A virtual private network. What's that do? So basically, if you set up a VPN on your computer or on your phone, it protects all the information on your phone from when it goes on the internet. Your so it keeps me safe? Yeah, so it right. stops the online baddies from getting your stuff. Surfshark, get your protection. <laughs> Not only that, you can use it for changing your location. So if you watch Netflix and yeah. you're watching the UK Netflix, if you change your location using the VPN, you can then watch American Netflix so you can watch different shows. If you're using a public network, everyone needs a VPN because it keeps you safe. So, shirky shaft. <laughs> if you log on, to Surfshark, link below. If you see the link below, type in Ben Pearson and you get 83% off and free for four months. Surfshark, it's like a whale with a fishboard, but with teeth. <laughs> Thank you Surfshark for helping us keep the lights on and yeah, keep doing what you're doing, VPNs. <laughs> <laughs> the Bens, AKA Barraclough and Pearson, ben. have just started their night shift. I can never get used to Baby Ben driving as well. That was really bizarre. Uh, when he passed his test, I were always the driver and then he actually came, got qualified and he would drive and I used to sit there and have nothing to touch or play with. And he used to like, where have I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so they've had a pursuit, or a two minute pursuit in Bradford. Um, it's crashed on Queen's Road. Oh, I remember this job. So Dave Longy was um, coming up Canal Road he saw a suspicious car, went nose on with it, and then the car reversed and made off. A car's made off from cops before crashing, and on arrival, it looks serious. Ooh. <laughs> ben P goes to talk. See, the thing that happens in Bradford, everyone gets a car. It's either got an AMG badge on it, an RS3, RS4 badge, or some sort of GTI badge, and they think they can drive. They try and outsmart the police, and they all can drive fast in a straight line. As soon as they get to a corner, they're all screwed and don't know what to do. I'm not gonna say about driving tests and uh, quality of driving around Bradford, but I think most people that drive in Bradford know what it's like. The crash car, a brand new- I Think a bit of teacup will buff that out. He's been arrested for failing to stop and driving without insurance. The car belongs to his brother-in-law and he's taken it without asking. See, in Bradford as well, that's what we come across all the time. We get people that drive high performance cars and lend it to the, the friends, the cousins, the brothers. They're not bothered where it goes as long as it comes back in one piece. And unfortunately, this one isn't. As soon as they see a police car and they want to, don't want to stop, they just make off at speed. I'll tell you what, he's an answer. Big Ben, as he's known, is a self-confessed petrol head who used to sell motorbikes. Just to let you know as well, favourite takeaway Chinese. We had one of them last night. That would have been someone's pride and joy. That, if that were mine or Ben's, that's the kind of car that you'd be washing six times a week. What people don't know is, well, if they have a car and they lend it to someone, knowing they lend it to someone, and it's driven, it's crashed, and that person doesn't have insurance, their insurance itself is going to be void. So what will happen is that car's wrote off, and even if it's on PCP, finance, or anything like that, that insurance is not going to pay out at all. So the owner of the car's screwed, and the driver who's sat in the back of the police car's also screwed. There's a lot of people getting screwed. <laughs> the car, a top-of-the-range Audi, that wouldn't leave you much change out of 40 grand, looks to be a write-off. At least it's shiny. It'll buff out. See, as well, there's a lot of people that go around now getting cars like that and actually rebuilding them. So it will be a category write-off, but there'll be people that'll actually buy that and put that back on the road and then sell it again. It wouldn't, wouldn't shock me if it's involved in the pursuit in the future or has been involved in the pursuit since it's made off on this video. He's looking at it, he's looking at it, he's at the um, barrier. Because he could have gone into concrete or tree and he'd have lost that fight. What I think is funny there as well, if you look, there's a white sign in the background. Um, and it's for, I think it's for AE Motors or something like that, but it actually says recovering from crashes. <laughs> so, <laughs> he could have just got out and rung him up and they'd have picked him up. And then come along Canal Road, out of our sight. Is it me or does anyone else think Dave looks like Cole Meany? And if you wonder who that is, it's the bloke he's <laughs> in. It's in all sorts of stuff, like Conair, uh, Irish gentleman. So if you can put a picture of him up at sight as well, that'd be brilliant. Youngsters in high-powered cars in this area um, and driving dangerously. What be, again? What boils my piss? It's just these people that think they can take control at roads and then just not show respect for anybody else. That could be you or you, you, your mum, your dad, your girlfriend, your son, your daughter, just going along on a normal journey and they get this halfwit 
driving into the side of him at 90 miles an hour just to try and get away because he's got no license and no insurance, so to speak. Fucking annoys me. Moment of madness, like I was speaking to your colleague, yeah. and I don't know why I did what I did, but we're lucky to work out. You are, mate, you are. In, in all seriousness, I know you've had an interview with Dave and stuff. Just, just. The thing is with Ben, you've got an angel on your shoulder and you've got a demon on your shoulder. When you work with Ben, Ben's the angel, he's such a nice lad, he's very polite and very genuine. But when we worked together, it was sort of like, we worked so well, we always had one good cop and one bad cop. And I think you'll see, this is when I was poorly as well, so I think you'll see how annoyed I get very quickly about immaturity. And I suppose that's not good coming from me, is it being immature? We've all heard of good cop, bad cop. So this is what I mean. Ben's really nice, I'm all the way around. I'm upset, I, well I'm not upset, I'm just pissed off with people. I'm sick of people trying to take control at roads and think they can do what they want and I just obviously tell him how it is. So I do apologise and I don't really. So I, and I'd say it again. Right, while well, my colleague's being nice, I'm going to be rude. You need to get a grip of yourself. <laughs> you could have killed someone. <laughs> and you can't drive for toffee. You've got no... Can't drive for toffee is a good one as well. People, there's three things people don't like to hear. You shit in bed, you can't drink and you can't drive. I'm crap at two of them. And I th <laughs> I think the third one's gone as well. From his brother-in-law, who's emptying his pride and joy. Can you imagine being a fly on the wall in the house when they got back, if all that conversation went down? It were a fox, just run across, just run across the road. Ridiculous, absolutely. Surprise police haven't got blame, they always get blamed for everything, don't they? You devil it out, you mate. Oh, well, it's normally like five months uh, longer than most cars last in Bradford. <laughs> Family meals might be a bit tense for the next few months. He was fined £69, given a six month curfew, a 200 hour community order, and was banned from driving for two years. Right, before we get into this for any further, a £69 fine. The railings that he's crashed into are probably going to be like £1,000, £2,000. He's got a recovery truck, he's got four police cars, ambulance. Look at all the thing work the insurance companies are going to have to do. They're going to have to sort the car out, and I think he's got £69. That's why I think like I said, not getting political, but the judicial system's rubbish. The fine's rubbish, and it all just needs sorting out. If he'd have stopped, he'd have been dealt with for the offences, and then we'd have seized the car, and he'd have had his brother would have had his car back tomorrow or one. And he'd have got, only got six points. And he got six points, and I've done for it, and now he's going to get done for all sorts. So the message of the story is the police get behind you, put the lights on, you stop because everything there is from that point on is your fault. Surf Shack. <laughs> it's the early hours of Sunday and boxing fans across the country are pulling all-nighters to watch the world heavyweight title fight. I think boxing's uh, it's massively barbaric and I think, I don't mean to sound funny, but I think it's brilliant to go watch. That means a busier shift than usual for Benz, Pearson and Barraclough. I'm driving this time as well. Veteran of 18 years, Ben, Benny Boy Pearson's not a big fan of boxing. Octane... Oh, I just said I was a big fan of boxing. I am a big fan of boxing. Why have they got that so wrong? That's like just... <laughs> I'm a big fan of boxing. I've never heard that before. I bet you contradict yourself now. I bet it comes to you and you go, fucking hate boxing. <laughs> 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 well done, I bet the if we cut this and do, I actually hate boxing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A night shift <laughs> in Bradford. That a licensed taxi is on its roof and that the Benz need to find it. I remember this job, but I remember it for all the wrong reasons. I remember it because we're in an area of Bradford where it's just, it's very, very lively on a night time. There's a lot of, um, it, it, uh, how can I put it, ice cream piles open at night time. Um, and it's one of those areas where you go into Bradford and you'll get absolutely no assistance from anybody. Car's definitely it's unclear if there are any passengers in the taxi or if anyone's injured. Anybody see what happened? Uh, again, talking to people, not one person acknowledges you. They're all out with phones. It's like talking to a brick wall. That sort of area, Bradford, just, you just don't like the police. Well, it's done a runner for a reason. That's it. You can see it's at lamppost there. Busy street, a lot of people about. But luckily, no one's injured, no one's lying around the road. Just make you aware when you pass your test in Bradford as well, one of the main things to teach you when you do go for your test is when you have a collision, get out and run. This is what happens when they drive really fast and um, they don't care about anybody else. For others, it's Yay, entertainment. Yay, party! So we've got the key came out, we see these tenders on, they'll come out and watch it. Because that's what I do at half past three in the morning. All of which isn't much help to Ben, who gets onto the cab firm to see if they can shed any light on their topsy-turvy taxi. 
We're looking at your taxi on its roof, one of your taxis. So this is how bad it was. That taxi, you can see from the video, it's stamped up, it's got its taxi badge on. It comes from a reputable company. Um, the company, again, don't know who were driving it, don't know about the car, don't know where the driver is. And then the assistance we got were absolutely pants, pissing up a flagpole. It's just ridiculous. You'll have a record of whose car it is, won't you? No, officer. We need you now to provide the details of whose car it is. What? Ours on its roof, and we need to make sure they're not injured. Eh? But they're not <laughs> playing ball. Right, so... Pardon? As you're talking to a brick wall, um, all we're trying to do is just cover for the driver and figuring out why he's done a runner. But all's not lost in the search for the driver. We've got friends at taxi licensing. He's got his badge on back as well, and he's left scene of an accident, and they don't stand for supply out Bradford taxi licensing. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Or a taxi driver. <laughs> we'll get recovered and you can answer some questions. But probably local cat run out, won't it? Or like, is it a fox nowadays? It's a local fox, that's what ran out in front of the Audi earlier on. From what I can gather, I think the, the taxi driver reported his vehicle stolen that night. I think he said that he had a, a job in and he came back from the job and he left the keys under his bin outside his house, which was on the back street. And ironically, someone nicked the keys from under the bin on the back street, took the car out and crashed it, and then returned the keys back to the bin, which was under the They've been on the back street by, by the house. What? What some taxi drivers do, not all, when the owner of the badge wants to go back home or go on his break, he will give the badge then to a friend or someone else. So, safety issue here. If you're ever not sure and you want to get in a taxi, um, ask to see the taxi badge and then look at the face of the driver because what people do do is exchange taxi badges so they can drive when someone else is off and they're the actual licensee. Make sure you can see the taxi badge Make sure it's that driver as well. Uh, Let's have a look at that car there. Which one? That one, that. That's what gets me as well. When you're, when you, I, I've got no, no skill anymore, but when you're a bobby, you can see stuff, you can do stuff, you can smell stuff. You catch some art calling your eye uh, and it just don't feel right. And that was one of them. I'm just talking to Ben and you can talk, drive, watch everything that's going on around you. And you also can see an offense as well. Where now, I, I, I'm just, I, I just switch off. I just don't have a clue what goes on due to, due to my illness. Investigations into the car will have to wait. A carload of lads has just triggered Ben's spider sense. What police do as well, we always look at number plate car driver. Does that number plate match that car? Does that car match that driver? And if something's off, if that number plate doesn't match the car or the driver doesn't match the car, that's the car you instantly need to turn around for. I mean, that's why we get so many offenders. It's all those people that try not to look at you when they're driving past, put their arm up when they've not got a seatbelt on. Those little things are telltale signs for officers. How do? Hey up. Is it your car? It is, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Just switch it off, take your keys out ignition, have a quick word with you. And what we do, being in Bradford, we pull alongside the car, we never stop behind the car and get out of the driver's seat. As soon as you do that, the driver makes off, and you've got to run back to the car and get in, and that time lapse is really, really important. Uh, so we pull alongside, tell them to turn it off and get back in our car. Have you had anything to drink tonight? Um, no, not at, not at all. Nothing at all, officer. What's that smell then? Is that alcohol or aftershave? Aftershave, off. It's called jupe. Um, aftershave. Because that smells very, very strong. Um... Right, you say you've had a drink, but not. When was the last time you had a drink? I fucking hate liars. It really does made in. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. That's for you. I used to love it. It has got a green light system on it. Goes green, amber, red. I used to love it when it just like goes off and it calculates, goes to amber, and then goes to red, and it give you a reading. Obviously, everything over 35 is arrestable, and some of them might have said they were coming out 150, 160, 170. Right, you failed. Okay, so you're currently under arrest on suspicion of driving a motor vehicle whilst over prescribed limit. Outside, I'm right proud of what I'm doing, but inside, I'm thinking, for fuck's sake. Not going to get off now. Being honest with you, the sample you provided is very, 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 very near the limit. Very near the limit. The intoxilizer machine back at the station will be the decider. I'll go. So what that device is, it's a screening device, so that gives us the power to arrest. And then when we go back to the police station, the the the, the intoxilizer is the correct device that we use that gives the amount of alcohol in the breath. Sometimes we can blow someone outside the road and they blow 51, get back to the station and they blow 34, so they're free to go. Back at the Nick. The driver maintains he's had the equivalent of one pint ten hours ago. And this machine that you can't blow, see, blow. there, the intoxilizer, such a smart machine. You can't trick it no matter what you do. It's designed that if your brain tells you to stop blowing, even though you don't stop blowing, there's something changes on your breath and it'll stop. The machine will follow itself straight away. You want it to be under. Okay. What's legal limit? 35. What do we prosecute over? 30, 41? 39. Oh, 39 oh. What have you blown? 41. Oh, so 
as we're saying, 35 legal limit. Oh, this is me. Should I get back to the money? 35 is the legal limit. 39, if you blow 39 and under, free to go. There's no offences, but we'll keep you in the cells until you blow under the legal limit anyway. But we, it's no, there's no charge at 39, and he's blown 41, so he's blown two over. The 4 a.m. chancer who failed to fool the intoxilizer pleaded guilty to drink driving. He was banned for 14 months and had to pay £235 in fines and costs. See again, fines, pathetic in it, £250 fine for being drunk driving. Um, disqualification, yeah, but fine. The owner of that taxi claimed the vehicle had been stolen. Yeah. It couldn't be proven who was behind the wheel and no further action was taken. I'll tell you what, I like them. I, I, I forgot about them. Uh, it's not like I sit at home and watching like police interceptors or all. And it's just, it reminds me of good times that we've had, but it also reminds me of shit that's driving around on streets. So keep safe.